Alright, let's go ahead and call the meeting to order. 9 a.m. August 3rd, 2017, Finance Committee. Uh, Amanda, call the roll, please. McTaggart? Here. Here. All yes. Bill? Present. Curtis? Here. Here. Johnson? Yes. Anderson? Present. Any public comment? No public comment. Randy Schultz? Uh, I watched my own this month other than I got the bits back there. Fascinating reading as always. <laughs> you should know it all. I thought well, I, I, I should read it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I look fine by the way. Good, good. It was um, the notice in the paper in the legal is yesterday, today, tomorrow, and then again next week. So three days this week, three days next week. It's out on the website. Amanda said by yesterday it already had 100 views. So, um, And I'm getting questions. One, one I got from one of the bidders. We also, the people that have contacted me over the last couple years wanting to bid, each one of them I called and said it's out there. If you want to see it, go to the website, et cetera. Um, one of them already said, well, we need at least two or three months. You know, you got to push your date back. And I said, sorry, no can do. And uh, so they said, good luck. All right. So there we have it. Well, and I did tell him that. I said, you know, you're the only one that's mentioned it. And I've talked to four different, I've talked to four different companies. None of them mentioned the, the time being a, an issue, and five years ago when we did this, I don't remember it being an issue. We had it. So, did we? So, too bad. So, there we have it. Um, but I'm getting, I don't know. I'm getting questions. I have another email this morning wanting the latest jail inspection report, and then wanting to call me this afternoon with other questions. So there's that. <coughs> <coughs> okay, I will. Thank you. So I Any other questions for Randy? Sir? Who is the group insurance? Okay, good morning, everyone. Um, just on touch base, I know last time we talked, we went over the differences between the current plan and then the proposed plan that we were kind of looking at through that um, COS network. After our meeting, we did have an update from Health Alliance. If, if members are going to any provider in the Wicker or KPT area, there's no issues either in that work, not a problem. But if they did want to go up to Chicago, they would need a referral from that doctor to go up to Chicago. So that is a difference that came to light after our meeting, our last meeting last month. So I just wanted to bring that up. I don't know if that, that changes anyone's decision. Um, it shouldn't be an issue to get that referral. That would be for like the University of Chicago provider, things like that. If they're going local, what like the KC area, there would be no referral needed at all. Do you guys want to go over the changes again from each plan? I have a And there, there were, um, we talked about the disruption report for the network, there are only four providers in the Houston area that are in the PPO but are not in the POS. So I have those here as well, so I'm going to pass those around and see those. And then we also have what we went over last time. I want these guys to see it too. Oh, I want to. Oh, yeah. Okay, we can share I mean, these are the guys that are going to have to get you in here. Yeah. Okay, so the first column is the current plan that's in place right here. So that is the plan that's been going, um, the current plan in place. The second column is that option that we're just considering. It's going to give us um, a little bit of a de decrease in the premium. Anything that is indicated in red is a change, okay? So your preventative care is going to be covered at 100% regardless of what plan. And if you go for a primary care visit, it is going to be a $25 payment. That next line should say specialist. I see that it's blank. I'm sorry about that. That would be a specialist copay. Um, that, is going to, that would change to a $50 copay. 
your deductible would stay the same with that HRA involved, so we wouldn't have any changes there. After that deductible is met, then there would be 100% coverage after that. Your out-of-pocket would stay the same with that 7500 because after that's basically your deductible. Your max out-of-pocket is your deductible amount. Your ER copayment would change from 175 to 200 The urgent care copayment would go from $20 to $50. Your lab work and inpatient hospital would stay the same. And then on your prescription, generic would go from 10 down to $7. Your preferred brand would be a 20 or $25 copayment rather than a 20. Non-preferred brand would go from a $40 copayment to a $50 copayment. Preferred specialist, excuse me, preferred specialty prescription. Right now they pay 20% co insurance. They would just have a $100 copayment there. Non-preferred specialty. Would be a 20, they currently pay 20% co-insurance, that would be a $150 co-payment, and then non-formulary specialty, which would go to a 50% co-insurance. So those would be the changes if we were to move from the current plan now to that COS plan. And then the network itself is larger than the PCO network. The only change is those hoops and doctors. There's four there that are not in the network. And then that only other difference would be currently right now if those people didn't utilize any providers up in Chicago, they don't need to get a referral. If we do switch to the POS, they would need to obtain a referral to go up to Chicago to see those providers. So the concern is, and Susie and I have talked about this, mm -hmm. you know, the wording in, and I didn't bring the contract with me, the wording in the AFSCME contract says, that there can be, we have to keep, we know you can't necessarily keep exactly the same coverage, but it needs to be essentially the same coverage. I mean, the concern is, are these changes essentially the same coverage, or is it going to be seen as an issue for our union folks? And I can't answer that. I, I can't answer that question. So I don't know if the thing that Susie and I talked about, do we want to survey our employees? We've done that before with changes in insurance. The concern is there, we've done that before, and it's hard to look at this and know how it's going to impact you, like with the, um, the, vision. Uh, the vision is where it happened. And we gave them all this information, and they all agreed, let's go with the cheaper one. That was overwhelmingly. And then afterwards, we got some really negative feedback. Right. They were happier with the DSP plan rather than the IMF plan, even though they paid more. Right. I felt that the coverage was much better. There were different coherence that were deeper involved in the IMF that were not in the DSP. It's just really hard to know, looking at this, what the impact is going to be on you, on each of our employees individually. So I, I don't know. Here, this is this is the um, paragraph in the contract. The county maintains the option of changing health insurance carriers. It is understood by the union that in changing insurance carriers, a plan identical to the current plan may not be available. However, the county must endeavor to find a replacement plan as close to the current plan as possible in light of health insurance plans available in this area. Is it close enough? That's the question. Is it close, is it close enough? enough to the current plan or we're not going to have any issues? And, and that is where I thought maybe if we let them vote, does that get us out of it, that they're the ones that are choosing? I, I don't know. And you can, if you do do a poll, make sure to put on their contact our office so they can call us with any questions if they do come up rather than just making a decision based off of maybe the rate or the copayment. Right. So we can discuss right. with them. Even their situation, we're always open to work with the employees if they have any questions. Everyone's situation is different. November 30th is their contract, so right, it would, well, I mean, honestly, to try to negotiate this out of a contract would be, yeah, would not happen. 
I don't know. You could be right. <laughs> but well done. Well done, Bob. <laughs> You still want to make sure you're fair to the employees. That's right. The whole we don't want to surprise anybody. And I'll, I'll tell you, I mean, the vision, that's a really small thing is vision insurance. And I mean, the feedback was... Right, right. The people that were hurt by it were pretty vocal. Yeah. Uh, and it, was that more family or was that individual? You know, no, either. It, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Now, I will say, I mean, again, if you're networking with KPT and live speaker, you're not going to have, it's going to basically be the same as the change to be those social. Um, it is just going to be when you are going up to utilize the provider maybe through University of Chicago. Then you're going to need to get a referral from your doctor to go up there. At that point, if you do need to go up there, though, which could very well mean you need a referral to go up there, and there's, you know, there shouldn't be an issue getting that. Um, but like they said, KPT, I think it locally, there's no referral no needed at all. And the network is larger than the PPO network, but again, that just, when they emailed that back to me, I wanted to just alert and meet with that and say, hey, I, this just came up, I want to make sure we don't have any hidden up. Come, you know, we put this in place 12-1 and then on January 2nd, someone's trying to go to University of Chicago and doesn't have a referral and there's an issue. We don't want that. Is there any more? and I don't know how this works, but is there any more wiggle room in this option, like for the, the ER and urgent care copays are kind of the ones that, I mean, I know it's not a huge increase, right. but it is an increase. Mm -hmm. Is there any wiggle room to, to adjust that, those? Yeah, we can check with Health Alliance on that. This was their base, the plan that they sent in, in um, that matches close to the PPO right. version. Right. I can see if we can adjust those co-payments at all and see what that does. It shouldn't change the rate too, too much if it's what it's allowed to do, or if we're allowed to do that. Are you guys okay with those co-payments up top, the 25 and the 50? I mean, if you look at, right, going from a 10% increase every month, so um, an extra $10 a month, for single coverage, right? Because we're at about a hundred dollars, right? So about ten dollars a month. So about twelve hundred, no, one hundred and twenty for the year. So, it, how often do you go to the doctor? That's what people have to go through that process. Is try to do that calculation to them, whether as opposed to a five percent decrease. Right. No, I get it, but you know how people look at a copay and go, Right, oh, right. All of a sudden they're at the doctor's right. office and they want 50 bucks right. and it's right. like... I didn't know I should only pay 20. Right, so right. If that could be without a few patients, I mean, absolutely. It doesn't hurt to ask. No, not at all. Any other questions? What, what's in the budget? What, what is in the budget is 9%, 9.08. I think I used 9.1% increase. So, and that is in the general fund because 75% of the premium is borne by the county. So the employees are paying a single coverage, 50% for the other, the other choices. But I, I go through the calculation of how many people are on what plan and what the county's portion is. And the general fund contribution is $425,000. So if you take away 10% of it, it's a big number. It's a lot of mm -hmm. right. What the? When do we have to have this decision? We need to let them know before um, December first. So we are. They like to at least know 30 days in advance. I know we want to get everything together with you guys so early for budget purposes, but we do have time to let Health Alliance know. It's not like we have to sign the contract right, right. within the next 30 days to hold the rate. Right. Okay. I think the survey would be a good idea, too, uh, of the employees. I don't know how much of a... Even, it's a good idea because they had a voice. Right, Are you right. Are prepared to and override their voice then? Well, you know, say we we take it in well, you know, shortly after that, and then we'll start contract negotiations, so, and then we can go from there. So how do we want to go in the 
negotiations. What are you guys' thoughts? You're the ones who talk to your employees. Uh, do you think it's a big deal, or can Susie present that to them as well? Absolutely. I love to get out Why would we not just do that so that she could get bombarded by questions all at once? Yes. Like have her spend the day here and Absolutely. do it whatever. We can do that. Yep. Absolutely. And then okay. you eliminated the survey. You're going to get a great deal for it. Yes. What you could do is put out just the memo that you're, here's what's happening. Home Star will be here. I'll have my team here with me. And as people come in, we can answer those questions and kind of get a feel. And if you're good with that, yes. give you that feedback, feedback and let you know. I think that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Should be on their shoulders anyway. Well, that way, it's them coming in. And exactly. You're, you're like, and then they have personal questions that they want to ask. We're a little bit on the side. Exactly. So that eliminates anybody from trying to decide for anybody else. Really. Not a problem at all. Yeah, we're on top of the date then. Yeah. 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 Right. right. I'll get in touch with you yeah. after yeah. next yeah. week, and we'll get it we can together, send the date. and then. We'll be here for the day and answer all the questions. Thank you. And if we have to do more than one day, I'll be more than one day, guys. Just let me know. Perfect. Thank you so much. Anything else? Nope. We're good? All right. Thank you. Have a great day. Take care. And I'll be in touch with Anita. Thank you. Uh huh. Sure thing. All right. FY18 budget. Just want to give a highlight of what we're still putting in. Minus, yeah, I I haven't received anything from any of the finance committee meeting board members or anything on any cuts you guys want to present or talk about. So the number is minus 387, no, 375, 390. Um, I got a quote back from Clifton Larson Allen. It's up $950. So next year over this year, so whatever. So, yeah. Rounding it means essentially nothing. Um, I have looked at some things. I talked to Lisa about a $25,000 transfer from County Recorder, I think is um, what we were looking at. Um, I haven't really talked to any of the departments about anything specific to them other than Lisa on that, and she's going to look at something that looks like it might be a duplicate, but we're going to... Yeah, so that may be 7000 but I mean literally peanuts compared to where we need to be. So I guess the question is, where does the committee want me to go from here? Do you want me to move forward? Do you have something you want to me to do? Do you have... I, I don't know, I guess. Do you want me to talk to things that... to the departments about things I may have identified that look higher than trend or feelings of the committee. Well, I personally went through kind of page by page, made Excellent. a little taxes and all that kind of stuff, but if we go through that page by page right now, we'll be here until the cows come home. I can email those thoughts yes. to you, and then I don't know how we go from there, but I mean, I have quite a few things that I saw that kind of glared. Okay. Well, what was your total dollar amount? What you got? Did what I talk? Three hundred seventy-five thousand. Not quite that much. Oh. Mine was about one. <laughs> yeah, mine was about one seventy. One seventy-five. <coughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah, whether might be close with that little bit of revenue we found. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Do we want to set up a, a meeting and have you know, before our next finance meeting? Yeah. Because yeah. we really need to win, I guess, would be the... Because we really... That September date, we need to get something so we can get in place for... Yeah. Closer. Yeah. And we'll drop into for the meantime. 30-day review board. Monday the 21st. Sounds good. What a perfect person. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. What time is that? It's off the fire alarm call. Nine o'clock. Nine? Nine. 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 Nine.
I, I get my personal feeling is that I talked a little bit about with Anita with some of the ideas she had, and I think if anybody else has other ideas, I think that if we can do some light work between now and the 21st to talk with the departments about Sherry's or any of our ideas and Anita's ideas and try and start whittling it away on some of those issues, it'd be better to do that beforehand than right. come in and see how far away we are at that exactly. point on the 21st. Okay. So. You've done it before. <laughs> so if we just send you those, maybe some of them will be close enough that you could do like a... Right. I right, I can compare what you're right. giving yeah. me and what you're giving me and what Mike's given me and, and the one kind of all in yeah. Yeah. Sheet. and then good talk enough. to the department heads about what what would be a good idea. Oh. I'll try to find a happy meeting. All right. well, we'll go Not on on Monday the twenty first. We still have happy meeting. Next up. Discussion and action on revolving loan fund resolution. at the last school board meeting. Anybody want to fill me in on it? It came back to the committee so it wouldn't die. In regards to the strategy. Mm -hmm. And I was it because the strategy wasn't included in the copies that went to the board, they only saw the resolution and not the strategy. I think if I remember mm -hmm. Chad made that comment. That yeah. Everybody hadn't seen it. That's correct. Seen it now? Yeah, I have some. I actually have some proposed <laughs> amendments to the strategy, and just for the record, I typed them up. Um, my thought on trying to make it a better thing, not trying to take control of it, but um, basically, what I have said is um, on page three of this document, item number three, sentence two. The chief elected official of the Iroquois County Board shall provide a list of nominees and their qualifications to the full Iroquois County Board for discussion and review and vote for the appointment as revolving loan, revolving loan fund administrator. Um, and then also amendment to page 4, item 4, sentence 2. At 15 days past due, the RLF administrator will make a second phone call and send a formal letter requesting payment. This is all when they're in arrears. Um, and again, in that same item number, sentence three, at 30 days past due, the matter will be turned over to the state's attorney for consideration and brought to the finance committee for discussion and presentation from committee to the full board. Um, page four, item six, new sentence. All expenses and revenues related to the RLF will be presented monthly to the finance committee and then presented to the full board from committee. I don't see where that's ever happened before from what I gleaned, so I don't know, I might be misspoken on that one, but um, amendment to page four, item eight, new sentence, the information will be presented to the finance committee and then presented to the full board after committee review. There's a lot of things that just don't, I don't feel like come to us, so um, an amendment to page four, item nine, first sentence, um, eliminate the yet to be determined, and then Add, in certain instances, the Iroquois County Board may require a borrower to purchase insurance or provide additional collateral covering repayment of the loan in the event of default. I think those are just things that cover us. I have that for everybody. If you want. Any copies? Okay, have, you got, have you been through this? Anita. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I also have a question too then Kyle. Um, in regards to this resolution, um, it stated that we committed the $515,000 to that fund. Um, I personally still feel like that should have been a $250,000 in the situation of our budget. Um, but it says on here that if we, let me see how is it, um, 
cannot be used for any purpose other than directed above unless the Iroquois County Board adopts another resolution to remove or change the constraints. So we'd have to, if we needed that money, we have to go back through a whole new resolution process. Would it not be simpler to maybe reduce this amount at this point in time? This is just me asking the question in case there's an emergency or we can't make things work. I would have to assume that the Ripon County Board could get a loan from it if needed at any time. But well, that's what they stated. Anybody? Well, we did in the past get loans, didn't we? Yeah. Or yeah. the board did. Yeah. 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 From this fund? I don't know. Well, well, well it's not. They went straight to the bank and got it. Yeah, we paid a lot more interest. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, but we can get yeah, we resources. Could. We have resources. Like the loan possibly. At the time, we're going to have to weigh everything is on the space value and expense-wise and everything else, I would think. I'm not following what you're talking about, Charlie. If the board, if the county needed money, pay expenses. We can go out and borrow money on a short-term basis. Have in the past. And we would want to do that and pay interest rather than use a fund. I don't know. I don't I know what the imagine. situation I don't know at the time would be we would be determine that at the time. I can't say what's going to be the exact position at the at this moment, what's going to be in the future. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't know how many times now to put, buy, buy, put the money in there and give them all of this and kick it around and kick it around. And about to cut that. How many hundreds of thousand dollars worth of capital? In about a month. Okay. So, I thought you were going to be cutting the capital. Right. And no other option. Also in this resolution it says that, and I'm sorry, that okay, that, um, it says that the uh, anything that's collected from the blunt loan will go into that revolving loan fund. And I know that that was still a question, because I believe you and I were both under the impression that was going to not go into that fund. So I think we still need clarification on that. We discussed that at a couple of meetings back. And My concern is that if, if all the funds go over, that blunt receivable and any risk related to that go with that fund. Because it's not fair to leave that bad debt risk in the county. While this, they take all the cash and they leave the county with this rather risky loan. That does not sound fair to me. Okay. I don't know how well, how it's written in there, yeah, how clear that is, but that was my intent when I asked that that be a part of the consideration. Keep all the outstanding types of the loan fund and nothing to do with it. Therefore, if there's a write-off, that fund bears it rather than the county. That makes sense. I think mm -hmm. to Kyle's point, one one thing that would help me is, and I think we need to evaluate what we do need to do, considering we got budget problems and, and things of that nature. Is especially as this concerns to the capital budget, what is the plan? So I know we got these big, big large ticket items that we keep hearing about. But for example, an IT committee, Anita's done that all the work, I'm going to just sit there and look at it, but, but, uh, but she's done a good job of planning out, okay, the next five years, obviously things change and things evolve and, and we never know for sure and that's why it's a plan and not reality, but knowing kind of where, okay, we got to spend this much money the next few years in order to keep the thing from falling apart, and I feel like having a little bit of that or a little more a piece of paper I can look at and say, here's kind of a capital plan of some sort. And obviously it's going to change, and I realize that. And we don't know when the heat pumps are going out, and I get all those arguments to it. But <laughs> here's all the stuff on the table here, and where are we at? That would help weigh this whole discussion, I think, in a lot of ways. Because right now there's just a lot of, and maybe I just don't have the right information, but it's a lot of ambiguous requests that isn't a clear plan from all the different areas where we maybe need a plan. And I think my, I see the merits of both sides of the whole thing, but it's hard to make a valid decision, an informed decision when, when it's a little bit of 
almost surprised, oh yeah, by the way, we need a $200,000 parking lot. Um, that, <laughs> to me, would help this whole process, both from the budget side, what we were just talking about, and the revolving loan side, and, and be able to say, like Kyle said, okay, we're going to have to cut stuff out of the capital fund. Can we afford to do it without going into a big, bad, dark place three years from now that we don't want to fund? Because um, that's what we talk about in the IT committee all the time. We've got to keep spending a little bit of money every year or even a significant amount of it every year so that we don't end up like they were in, I don't know the year, but 11 or 12 where you had to spend a boatload of money because everything was broken. And it, it was too late to, to, to fix it, or so to speak. And I think our capital situation is probably similar if we... Right. As a guest. We we lack a strategic plan when well, it comes to I think any we gotta have that forecasting mm -hmm. other than the next twelve months. Yes. And it, it's difficult. I mean, when I worked for Cummins and stuff, we had capital committees that we were looking five, ten, fifteen years out at all times. All the time. Mm -hmm. And it evolved and changed every year, but every year we went through this painful process of everybody. All the right, it put the brings their wish list in, and it told no, and what's critical and what's a wish list and what's not. Some form of that, I think, needs to exist before any race can be resolved, because it's, they go hand in hand, fortunately or unfortunately. Any other thoughts? I think we need to move forward on this, and I will accept the by Sherry spent some time and got some language down. Uh, Kenny, you've seen it. Did you see any major stoppage area there? Well, uh, <coughs> Based off of that then, I think I would move that we adopt this revolving loan plan and add Sherry's comments here. We can refer to Exhibit A or whatever that we have here in front of us. And also accept any outstanding liabilities loans We'll do the collection, and if there's something out there that comes in, it'll stay with that revolving loan. And that way, again, we don't have to carry them on our county, uh, yeah, audit section. You don't think anything of these need to be reviewed before they're put into the agreement? I, I just read them all myself, and there, you know, there's just some slight tweaking, and you know what? It's good tweaking. Well, I think the committee deserves to look at it before it's put in stone. When you guys, you guys no, offense, meeting, no offense to what you did, it's fine, but I do think it's got to be reviewed by loan makers that understand all of it. Do you have any schedule at any time? <coughs> we don't have that. We've all been low on the button to review the meeting. Yeah. That wouldn't be appointed until after I think it was stolen. We have used the original committee. Mike and Charlie and Ralph are here. And, uh, Chip has been in here for a bit. Gary Bell has struck. And Craig Joe comes in there. And uh, that was our committee that originally hammered out, I guess, uh, the original program strategist came from me reducing the state. There's 100 plus states got down to about a five-page. Then they, they refused to revise my point. We had a committee meeting at that committee and, and we reviewed it and revised my twice right there. And it's just the final committee that should come from you guys. Yeah. We just put together an article. And if in 30 days we've seen something we overlooked, we can always come back and add the amendment. But we keep looking at the same thing and then every time you look at it, you can find something that we can well, change on. You mentioned it in the resolution and in that it says that we're going to change the whole thing with the resolution. The program strategy can be changed just by a majority vote of the board. So right. I didn't see it being that difficult to, to, to work for it. Sherry did some good work. There was no problem. I, I, she, she was totally convinced that she had explained clear to me, and I wasn't quite getting it all on, on Monday. So I'm glad she put something down right right here. Or whatever words that they want, the dollar amount is what it's the country. <laughs> and we'll be going forward. But Russell, was there in the form of a motion? Yes, it was. You want to 
you have a I'd ask the revolving loan fund resolution with the proposed amendment. Strategies. Strategies, yeah, strategies, yeah, we gotta. So it's not the rest of the whole strategy? The paper, the right, that's the paper. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I got mine with me. Strategies and the resolution, this is all encompassing the whole? Yes, and again, we'll take care of that little debt issue at the same time by adding that the collection of any outstanding will stay with the revolving loan fund. That's part of it? Yes. I, I, I'll, I'll just tell you now that I think we need to have all the pieces before I'd be willing to... I, I'm in favor of the revolving loan fund, but I feel like I don't know the whole story. And, and everything that I was just speaking about, I think is kind of necessary before I'm going to make a final vote for this band. Yeah, we're going to move all the money. I'm not saying I'm opposed to moving all the money, but I think having a cap, considering those two things hang in peril and they're going on at the same time, I, to me, my personal view is, is let's wait for the 21st to get the data and then make a decision. It was money had come here for a given reason from the federal government, and you know what? I uh, I would like to see it used for that because we'll never see that opportunity again. I, I, and I, I and so for every day I lay here, I guarantee you somebody else is going to try to figure out how to get their hooks on it. For a good cause. I, it always happens that way. I agree with you, Russell. I'm not, I, I, that's why I voted for it the first time. Nobody's yes. challenging that, but no, I think right. $300,000 is great, too. You know, it doesn't have to be the whole kit and caboodle. Mm -hmm. Give up a couple hundred grand of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. in there because it's all going as a package deal now, correct? That's the way I'm taking it, yeah. Yeah. So there's my hand up right now. Well, I thought we already took action on the dollar amount. I think we've done it twice or something. Yeah. Right, but it's never been officially official since it hasn't had the resolution. accepting that, right? The amendment, the changes, it's for the whole thing, then I take it back. Yeah. We'll get that. All. I think the whole thing should be put back into the finance to this committee that's studying up the loans, including her suggestion. They should hash that out, how to word it, blend it into this. How it's blended it could be uh, read back several different ways probably. You gotta get down to one document that meets that their goals as well as ours. I, I, go ahead and present that motion. 
I for a lack of a second. Do we, can you get those guys together? I mean, three of you are here, four, five. Right now, everybody's out of the day and they're busy. You're talking about the other one. Well, yeah, I'd say it's going to about to get pushed off again. It's not going to be in the action. It's going to happen in the morning. It may be in the morning before the 21st. I think. Yeah. The other one is going to be in the morning. The other comments, questions, concerns? Moving the line of items here. Department head report. I talked to you board board council on last night. We discussed the ACPHC FY18 budget. And this is the budget that they have approved. Thank you, Alan. 24,000. I want any of you, as you're looking to discover, if you have questions, please come to me directly and ask. Um, it's easy to look at numbers and make assumptions without all the detail or even the understanding of our current research. So I have an open door and I'd be happy to meet with you and go over any details you'd like to go over. Pass the board unanimously. Everybody. Your two and a half percent increase to everybody. And did you discuss that with your board? Okay. What about this? Looks like the salary increases are almost ten. Nine months and something here from the forecast. Okay, that's the forecast. So what, 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 if you're running from the salary, I would, I would have to you with And this will tell you what you see in future. Okay, okay. 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 One of the reasons I was curious on that is that the forecast has been that we have to have a person who is here and people are not flashlight. questions right now? And our options for this, if I remember correctly, are limit, are we are limited in what we can do to it, that we go through this? Mm -hmm. The only thing that this board has, based on what happened last year, is to cut the levy, and that's it. What was the levy last year? Three hundred and fifty thousand. Three hundred what? Fifteen thousand. Nine hundred thousand. Thirty thousand. Could be up to hundred thousand. Whatever. Start talking about that. So basically, you're at. Are you adding some reserves that you wanted to do a year ago and you didn't? This 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 budget has a spending cap of eight hundred thirty-one thousand dollars. Okay. Anybody else? Mindy? Yeah, yeah, you're <laughs> staying up the screen if you want to. Mindy? Nothing? Lisa? Eric? Turn it to you, Big Bang Grant. Sheriff. Sheriff. Um, I have to have anything on the, the next, next 
EMI one, I've got a red hot back back to retire higher one one. It's gonna be uh, uh November the end of the school year. year. That's on the control side. side. Uh, uh one, one is gonna be work for security. Uh sometime. I don't have one exact day that it's probably, probably gonna be late late up front for work. Uh, I've already talked to uh, a retired IRL or sports person, person, person about our uh, security position. And uh, this week she talked about from that. Uh, uh, I also so have a correct law author that is in the 9th September and moving out of the state. Uh, and I have a person on my mind that has that issue that's already on the first I would want to kind of Correctional law law for us for over a year. Uh, I left earlier this year for the year or five five by that senator and uh, that didn't work out. out. So I'm going to bring that for back. Uh, we still have the uniform and no train train costs and you're going to be able to get your social security to the right back back into the, the, the jail. Um, other than other than that, it's like, like 18 is going to be a busy year, year two, I've got uh, some grown grown women pop pop retirement in 2019 as well, but I haven't got any finished this so. Any questions for the chair? That's it. Bob? 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 Anita? Yeah. Budget? Yep. Historic yeah. cash trend. It's not a program. Yeah, uh, and it's all encompassing with the budget too, so we keep looking at it. I wish that a list of the claims in front of them. Yeah, I'm going to look at it. those ideals, those other ideals, we put them all on one paper, and then we can narrow it down at that point exactly. and find That's something. No different than any other here. Yeah. Now, yeah, 
motion to adjourn. Taggart, there's a second. All in favor?